Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In today's video we are going to take up one very interesting question from algebraic simplification of nested roots. So let's get started. I will consider this expression equal to e first and I will call this fourth root only equal to a. So our expression which we can write it will be equal to a square root of 12 minus 4 times cube root of negative 3 plus 2a. Now we have to calculate a. So let me write a separately. a will be fourth root of 248 minus 28 times square root 52. We can write 13 times 4. Now this 4 will come out 248 minus 28 and this 4 will come out from square root as 2 square root 13. So I can write a will be 4th root of 248 minus 56 square root 13. Let us write here a equal to fourth root of 248 minus 56 square root 13. Now I will split 248 as 196 plus 52 and then minus 56 square root 13. 196 can be written as a square of 14 and 52 we know it is 13 times 4 so we can write 2 square root 13 whole square. Now this term we can write 2 times 14 times 2 root 13. So 2 times 14 28, 28 times 2 56. Now this is a square plus b square minus 2ab written in this fourth root which we will be writing a minus b whole square where a is 14, b is 2 root 13 whole square. Now fourth root and square will be over. So it will be left only square root. Square root 14 minus 2 square root 13. This is our a so far. Let me write here a equal to square root 14 minus 2 square root 13. Again I will split 14 as 13 plus 1. Then we have minus 2 root 13. Can we write 13 as root 13 square? 1 as 1 square and then it is 2 times AB term written over. Now this is A square plus B square minus 2AB. Again we can write a minus b whole square. So a will be square root root 13 minus 1 whole square. Now square root and square will be over. So a is finally root 13 minus 1. Let us plug in the value of a in our expression e. It was e equal to square root 12 minus 4 times cube root negative 3 plus 2a. Now we have calculated a. Let us apply the value square root 12 minus 4 times cube root negative 3 plus 2 times square root 13 minus 1. 
this is our expression e let's simplify square root 12 minus 4 times cube root of negative 3 plus 2 root 13 minus 2 equal to square root 12 minus 4 times cube root of this will be 2 square root 13 minus 5. Now I will consider this cube root equal to b and let us evaluate separately. So I will write b equal to cube root of 2 square root 13 minus 5. Let's consider cubing both sides. So I will be writing here b cube equal to 2 square root 13 minus 5. Now I will multiply both sides by 8. So I will multiply here with 8. So I need to multiply this side also by 8. Let's multiply. So left hand side it will be 8 times b cube. Right hand side will be 16 root 13 minus 40. Now I can split 16 as 13 plus 3. So 13 root 13 plus 3 root 13 and negative 40 we can write negative 39 negative 1. Now I will rearrange the written numbers 13 root 13 then minus 1 then minus 39 and then we can write 3 is square root 13. So 13 root 13 is root 13 cube minus 1 cube minus 39 it is 3 times root 13 is square times 1 plus 3 times root 13 times 1. So it is recalling one identity a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square which is equal to a minus b whole cube. So I can write our right hand side as root 13 minus 1 whole cube. So I will write here 8b cube equal to root 13 minus 1 whole cube. Now 8b cube can we write 2b whole cube equal to root 13 minus 1 whole cube. Consider cube root both sides. So we will have 2b equal to root 13 minus 1. Let us divide both sides by 2. So I can write our b value will come out root 13 minus 1 over 2. This is our cube root b. Let us apply the value in our expression. So e was a square root of 12 minus 4b. Let's apply this value of b over here. So I will be writing e equal to a square root 12 minus 4 times b was root 13 minus 1 over 2. Now we can cancel this 2 and 4 by writing over there 2. So a square root of 12 minus 2 times root 13 minus 1 equal to square root of 12 minus 2 root 13 plus 2. So this is nothing but a square root 14 minus 2 root 13. Now I can split 14 as 13 plus 1. 
and 13 I will be writing root 13 is square, 1 I will be writing 1 is square and then this term is 2 times root 13 times 1. So a square plus b square minus 2ab we can write a square root of a square root 13 minus 1 whole a square. Now a square root and a square will be over. So our final answer will be equal to e equal to a square root 13 minus 1. This is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Goodbye.